<laughs> oh, I love this. This is what I live for. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Join me, guys. Let's go. I'm, I'm going to die straight away. But I do not care one single bit. Because look at it. It's beautiful. Everybody run. Oh my god, I got two gold peacekeepers, what? I just got two gold peacekeepers. Are you kidding me? I can't aim. Ah, oh, this is stupid. I need to save my ammo for people. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. As you can see, Rafe's Town Takeover has officially happened. The Shattered Forest, as you can see now, has been replaced by this new labs location. And it, well, it hasn't been replaced technically. It's been unearthed. Now, this location is abundant in loot there is a whole bunch of loot um, and with these new town takeover locations I'm gonna do an updated floor map loot kind of thing you, you can see here so we've got like the supply bin and the floor loot you can see there's a key in the top left so you've got the supply bins mostly in the south area and then all the floor loot is just in the freaking bunker there's a bit in a few houses either side but there is so much floor loot inside the bunker and the light ammo is just like a representation of where you'll find like piles of that floor loot um, and then you've also got a hidden data log. They've added like an actual interactive hidden secret inside this location, which gives background story on Rafe. And this whole location gives us information on Rafe's story and what she's trying to find out about herself. Um, so we're gonna be fully breaking that down as well. But first of all, we're gonna go over some of the gold weapons you can also get here. So basically part of the update was that they've added gold spawnable like weapons to high tier locations and obviously being a new location this is going to be high tier and as you can see you can find a lot of different weapons so you you can't only just find the Kraber but look at this they've added new gold weapons so we've got a gold triple take i was a bit over the moon when i actually discovered this the fact that it's even in the game i've been hoping for it in ages apparently it's been in the files for ages but we finally actually got it and with the update they widened the um, actual bullet width on the individual like little laser bullets so it's a much more reliable to hit targets now and it's so good um something i love to do with this new location with that giant portal that sends you to the sky which I will break down in a mo um, you can like just get onto the outer bounds area and these sniper shotgun mode you can just quickly pick a few people off and then when did you ever think you would ever see a gold G7 scout? This uh, this thing was crazy. It's a bit difficult to get used to with the 4 and 8 times thermal scope, but it is obviously good once you do get used to that. Um, but I, I just, I was all over the place. I completely forgot they've um, added the uh, settings now so you can adjust sensitivity depending on each different type of uh, distance sight, which is going to be really useful. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the gold weapons I found except for the double peacekeepers that you saw in the beginning. That's probably like 0.0001% chance possibility right there. Um, but yeah, now we're going to move on to this secret data log. So down on the east side of the bunker, you've got this like broken in area you have to break into. It's all barricaded and a lot of times you will find people like camping up in there because it is quite defensive. Um, but there's also a secret little laptop and it's got a special Rafe recording that gives us information to what happened and why she is who she is. So listen to this. Senior science pilot, Renee Blasey, first report. The grant to test our new phase shift tech has been approved by the IMC's Ares division. My colleague, Dr. Singh, has his suspicions about them. But honestly, all I care about is whether or not it's true that our dimension is not the only one. Now, we just need some volunteers. Or, I'll have to do this thing myself. There are a lot of roads out there. Who knows where they lead? Project Wraith. 
active. So we now know that Rafe is officially, well, officially used to be a pilot. That's been a big question. And Ares had this technology, this substance, which they used this chair in the middle of the bunker to basically like inject it into Renee, her real name, Rafe. And um, yeah, she volunteered for it in the end. So it, she lost her memory along the way somewhere. We, we're going to find out a bit more. I'm sure we'll see more data logs eventually. But it's nice to see we're getting all these new legend-like story backgrounds in the map. So as predicted, you can jump into the top of the portal and make your way all the way down. Now, this puts you in the bottom of the bunker. And just to warn you, a lot of people are doing it so as i said you get these massive amounts of people going for it but you can obviously just jump straight back in and escape if you think you're not going to do that well um a lot of times it will just end up in a knife fight otherwise now obviously with this portal it's quite wide so don't aim for the middle aim for like the proper edge of it if you want to hit that portal first because it doesn't matter if you hit the middle or the edge you're going to get in there like a bit quicker than someone who's taken that extra second to go that extra meter longer towards the middle of the circle. And that's obviously going to get you an extra meter towards a weapon when you're actually down there and able to like defend yourself. Now, this big room, I freaking love this. It reminds me of Stargate um, SG-1, which was my favorite series growing up as a kid. And uh, But this is all like overgrown and I, I with like spider webs and stuff. And I wondered if you could like get inside the spider webs, like make some sneaky plays but obviously yeah you can't they've put like physical walls there so you can't hide behind them um I, I thought that would honestly be pretty cool just to hide in one of them like a spider and then just jump out at the last moment um but other than that i hope you did enjoy the video i'm gonna do some like proper full-on gameplay later on something else to note is when people go through the portal you can see their like lay their ghost go through the bunker and up the tube which is pretty cool but um yeah like comment subscribe hit the notification bell you guys know the drill and i'll leave you guys to it peace the wind is out there looking for you it will find you if you let it